Hello friends, today I'm going to show you a comparison of two excellent lenses, even legendary I would say, and then I will start with the actual legendary lens, which is the Nikkor 105mm f2.5. Why it is legendary? It was shot into a stardom uh, by photographer Stephen McCurry in the 70s or 80s, uh, when he took the very famous picture of the Afghan girl that I don't think I need to show you because I'm pretty sure the image has just popped into your mind okay so uh, a bit of history about this lens so this lens uh, first came uh, as the 10.5 centimeter version uh, of 1959 for the Nikon S uh, camera and then it evolved uh, and then it became the lens we have here so we have an optical recipe here of 1976 and uh, that it is there you can see it is five elements in four groups it is common to the AI and uh, A AES lenses and then uh, it has been around as I just said from 1976 and then uh, it has been uh, able to rule almost unbeaten for almost all these years Okay, so this is all for this lens, so a lens which has uh, what is also incredibly sharp and has excellent colors. So uh, this guy here actually needs to be really, really, really good in order to be able to compete to this guy. So uh, who is this guy? This guy is the Nikkor uh, 105mm 1.8 so uh, also uh, with an optical recipe of the Senotar type that will appear just now and then as you can see it is slightly different as his older brother so I'm calling brother because this uh, one came about 10 years later with this recipe that as you can see has five elements in five groups so it is slightly different as and as I could gather from uh, the Nikon uh, website achieving uh, such a, an aperture 1.8 uh, with such a recipe it is quite a fit so I guess uh, this make uh, at the time this lens uh, very expensive or um, even more expensive than this uh, I don't really know the prices of the time and uh, I know the prices of today and uh, this one is about uh, 200 to 300 dollars this one I would say 400 to 600 so we have a factor of two on the price of the lenses I think at the time uh, it was also the case probably more I'm not sure so um, we have that this lens is rather popular and common it was made uh, as I could gather from checking on the internet and then serial numbers for the AI and AES versions there are like 310,000 copies around whereas this one uh, there is only 44,000 copies around so uh, it makes this lens a bit more rare and then I have heard of people who have never heard about this lens so for you guys uh, it's time to discover uh, what are the difference and the advantages of this lens okay so um, that's for the history and now we go into the comparison so uh, let's say physically uh, the lenses besides the size um, well, making a comparison of two AES lenses which have um, incredible uh, build it is a bit pointless so I have nothing to say about the construction just that it is almost perfect and then yeah proof of that is that these lenses are uh, pretty much uh, older than 30 years and then they look like new okay and then they're going to sh for sure to outlast me and then they will go to my children okay uh, other difference so principal difference so here um, the 1.8 version has nine uh, blades uh, nine aperture blades this one has seven so this will produce a difference on the book that we will see just now okay and uh, we talk a uh, price we talk uh, construction which is pretty much the same just uh, size that changes and then on that uh, obviously this lens is more heavy uh, 580 grams this one 
this one is 450 so the difference in weight is not very high 130 grams so and this is not the thing that is going to break your back okay that's all in terms of uh, physical thing now we're going to move to the um, image comparison so what i did is i took a set of images at the closest focusing position in these lenses which is for both uh, one meter here and then one meter here and then we'll take a look at that the performance of close range and then uh, a second set of images that i took from a distance probably 10 uh, meters and then you will see the uh, high range distance so uh, let's go for the comparisons Oh, hello friends, I am back. I am ready for the comparison. So, as I explained to you before, we are going to check two types of image. So, this one uh, we have here is the image taken a really short distance. That is the minimum focusing distance we can achieve with these lenses. That is one meter. And then uh, be aware that the f2.5 is able to do probably two or three centimeters less than one meter. So, this is good to know. And then, uh, okay with the images you may wonder here that uh, we have the 1.8 lens as the bokeh bubbles are slightly bigger and then here obviously on the right we have the 2.5 okay what is this image so we have this um, betty boop doll um, that i found i have these plastic plants and then i have some christmas lightnings that i put on the back and uh, just to get um, these nice uh, bokeh bubbles uh, okay so first thing we have the image here of 1.8 with the 1.8 and here uh, 2.5 so we have a full aperture of the lenses and so we cannot do exactly a comparison here we can just take a look and we can see here that the f2.5 the colors are slightly warmer which is something i prefer and then in terms of um, sharpness let's take a look i did the focusing on the eye of the doll here taking a look at this second um, bro here and then uh, as you can see the 1.8 is really 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 soft wide open uh, whereas here the 2.5 it, it offers a nice image quality and then and the transition from sharp to fuzzy it is quite okay in both lenses although we cannot do really a comparison since we're not exactly at the same aperture and so what i'm going to do now is just jump to f2.8 on both lenses which shall provide me and the first aperture which is common to both lenses and then here we can notice a few differences now so colors are different this we noticed it already here we can see the nine and um, the nine blades whereas here we have the seven so the bokeh bubbles are slightly different then in terms of sharpness we take a look again at the focusing point here and then we see that the f1.8 is actually slightly 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 sharper than the f2.5 so but just be aware and the f2.5 is a really sharp lens and then if you take any other lens and compare it to it i am pretty sure and uh, the other lens is going to be beaten so be aware of this and then uh, what can you say is that the 1.8 uh, is crazy sharp actually so here uh, I put the, the plant intentionally because we're able to see a lot of details and then we can take a look directly at the sharpness of the, of the lens and then of the evolution uh, of this sharpness along the frame and then as you can see the um, 1.8 is able to cope quite nicely uh, with the um, with the progression towards the edge of the image whereas um, 
the 2.5 has a lower performance here okay so let's go and jump directly to uh, smaller aperture and then here I jump immediately to uh, 5.6 then uh, I would say both images look fairly the same uh, main difference um, and then this is the only way I can make the uh, recognition between both then is the shape of the bokeh bubbles and then uh, the colors otherwise both lenses look really really nice if we take a closer look here we can see that in terms of sharpness and they are almost equivalent even though uh, the 1.8 is slightly superior but then uh, here I will honestly were pixel peeping um, and then this is not really the point again and um, one thing that I just mentioned before and then I repeat now is yeah the progression towards the edge of the image is better handled by the uh, f1.8 lens as you can see here and then something that is really surprising is that at f8 here uh, the f2.5 lens becomes really 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 good um, even uh, sharper than um, the 1.8 at least this is what my opinion and then you can maybe see that on this tiny hairs here on the face and the the Betty boom is actually sharper uh, and the with the f2.5 f lens we can see here here also on the plants so uh, they are well they are almost equivalent so um, difference in sharpness is quite difficult to, to to make at this point here but then yeah both lenses I have to say they are really really good advantage of the 1.8 okay just to finish let's jump to f11 where uh, at this point there is no difference whatsoever between the lenses besides the color so um for the first hurdle of this test uh, we can say uh, both lenses are quite fantastic and um, i would say um i'm not pretty sure which one i would take because i like the colors of the f2.5 although uh, the sharpness of the um, 1.8 gives a lot of more possibilities in terms of edition and so 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 far i will keep both lenses so um, for the next image um, i want to show you something first uh, i want to displace and uh, during the holidays and um, is in france and then it is the um, canadian memorial and uh, which is in the north of france this is something which happened it in 100 years ago during the first world war and then uh, the canadian troops were able to win this reach and then i went there second time ago really really nice place they have this nice mon monument i take a, i took a picture of it in uv so normally it's completely white and then i like the uv because it takes out all the details uh, of the of the monuments particular I will be making a video soon about uh, UV photography because it's really really something that I really like a lot um, here you have something else this is inside the monument something really big actually and then this is the the hills and not the, the plains of the north of France and then here it said uh, the Canadian army attack with four divisions uh, on a six kilometer front won this uh, reach the 19th of April 1917 and then this was a turning point um, in the First World War and then probably something that shaped uh, the war we live on today okay so uh, I was strolling on this place and then I found um, quite aside from the 
visitor path and this uh, really nice um, military cemetery and then um, there was no one around so I was able to put my tripod and get everything to make this comparison pictures with the two lenses so again here we have the 1.8 here they have 2.5 and then um, first thing you see uh, on outside uh, pictures is that there is almost no difference well I cannot tell the difference even in the bokeh is very 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 difficult to tell a difference between both images uh, and then if we get close here I did uh, the focusing on the third tomb um, and then as you can see here uh, wide open the um, f1.8 lens uh, behaves actually better than I expected from the initial test uh, indoors and then uh, really close it focusing um, and then obviously uh, the f2.5 as the aperture is a bit closer and it's a bit close and contrast is better so um, but overall um, I would say the f1.8 does not disappoint at all uh, okay so um, now if we move to um, comparable apertures that is f2.8 we can see uh, that the edge and uh, we saw before in terms of sharpness it is uh, still there but just just slightly so you have to remember that these pictures were taken with a d800 camera so that it's that's 36 megapixels so uh, these pixels are really 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 small and we're doing pixel pivoting on it and then we can see that uh, both lenses actually deliver really really good with the uh, 1.8 having uh, just a small edge over the 2.5 but then the difference is minimal okay so if we take a look from a distance in terms of color um, I would say they are quite equivalent but um, I like a bit more the 1.8 here which gives a bit warmer colors on the tombs um, which is quite the opposite to what we just observed before uh, so I think the 1.8 uh, was made and optimized to work on a distance and not really close um, whereas probably the 2.5 was uh, maybe optimized for a wider range of work so um, this is uh, f2.8 now we're going to jump to um, 5.6 just let me get ready for the next images and then here again uh, hard to tell uh, anything about the difference between both lenses just that um, still the 1.8 delivers um, sharper images but then um, yeah we're doing we're doing serious pixel peeping just to see uh, the difference here okay just let's get really really serious and then yes a bit more contrast but then yeah I am at 200 percent so what do you want a regular picture uh, you won't see the difference at all um, okay and as before and this was something we observed with the 2.5 and that it got really 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 good at f8 and then uh, once more here at a distance it actually doesn't make a big difference so maybe in the last Yeah, so yeah, the um, depth field uh, in the f2.5, as we can see here, is probably a bit better. Um, but yeah, this is this is highly dependent on the on the optical design, and then we saw uh, both optical designs 
were slightly different. So uh, just to finish, I will give you a last image, and then this is on a F16, and then um, this is part of the memorial. Um, so this is you have this virgin which is crying, it's quite beautiful, it's, it's a beauty, very beautiful place, you have to visit if you have the opportunity one day, um, which is looking over the plains and then is crying for the fallen soldiers uh, 100 years ago. Okay, so as you saw, uh, both lenses are quite good, There's, at some point there is no difference whatsoever with, with them, uh, however the 1.8 has an edge on sharpness uh, at uh, small apertures um, and then yeah obviously and the trade-off of that is that the price is slightly higher overall um, get the lens you can afford and then enjoy it so this is all I wanted to say to you thanks for watching and see you next time huh?